Oh, okay, let's hang out. <sighs> Cara del Toro, she's a nice model. I love Anita. Will Murai. <laughs> it's beautiful. I saw, I saw a photo of Dua. Yeah, this one. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love that she's not wearing anything in underneath. Or it could be like a skin suit with uh, like a like a body suit with uh, the same color as a skin. I love that concept. Taylor does that a lot. Taylor Swift. Like uh, the Wango Tango concert, I found out that uh, she wears two pairs of leggings, two layers of leggings in that one, and they are Caprizio leggings. I found out on Reddit, one person linked me to a blog, Taylor Swift style blog. It has details of everything Taylor has won in events and concerts, all the public appearances. So there are pictures of Taylor The reputation one uh, ones are the baddest though. the details Jessica Jones for a suit these are the leggings there are two pairs of leggings I think these ones might be one pair though because they look like skin but the Wango Tango one I love these these might be two pairs actually like uh, one pair that is skin tight, the same color as her skin, and then uh, one that is like a fishnet on top of that. Yeah, those are leggings. So that's what I was feeling with this. Although with Dua, it 
Yeah, it it looks like leggings because there's a shine on it, but it could be digitally put. Dua is more badass, so she, she would uh, wear something like that without leggings. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful this way because there is some kind of material underneath that makes it shine in a special way. This is different from the skin color. Look at that. It's hard to say though. Because over here you can see there is nothing, no skin color padding underneath. So maybe it's just the white that is altering the skin. It's hard to know if uh, there is a skin suit underneath or not in this case. Anita has the most beautiful voice in the world. Love Mala, Mala Rodriguez. Love this pick. She looks like a mermaid. Yeah, this is the one. My favorite pick. She's such a badass. It's like a message to the society. People who criticize others for expressing themselves. I'm a princess, fuck you. You in the sense, the, the exact uncle or grandpa who's criticizing. You know, like, you're old, your age is over, like, fuck you. I love that fuck you. Mali is such a bad bitch. Like, her delivery and her vocals is just badass. She's a Spanish rapper won a number of latin grammys world uh, record breaking uh, like she made history in latin grammys it broke records i love iggy to iggy azalea her delivery I love Ines, Ines Trokia. She featured in Eats magazine, which is uh, run by Chris Applebaum, who directed Stacy's mom, the video. He's, he's like really cool. Eats magazine, you should check out. This is Ines, Ines Trochia, Italian, Forza Italia, okay, it used to be over here, or maybe it was a caption on one of her pics. She's proud to be Italian.
there's something about her face which is like this look wet hair it feels like first of all she's a bomb but it feels comforting and motherly in the sense that she's just had her bath and she look she's looking gorgeous she's your girlfriend wet hair often with a nice That's the one. That's Eats magazine. That's the one. Food Zai Tabia. You should check out that video if you can. It's really cool. The way Chris Applebaum merges uh, music with uh, video direction, video production. That's Eats. Uh, yeah, that's Eats magazine. So they make models uh, consume their favorite dish and make a cool video out of it. Ines chose to have pasta and I love noodles. Okay, okay. Let's get to each magazine. I want to show that. Yeah, each channel. Digital entertainment platform, no Photoshop <laughs> effects are used. That is so untrue. <laughs> I can prove it to you. There's a ton of post production that is uh, that happens in it's. I've never. I, I should get an it subscription. It's a dream. I should. <laughs> uh, yeah. I now that I realize it, I've been planning for it for a very long time. Uh, Yeah, maybe, maybe they haven't used Photoshop. Priscilla Huggins is my favorite model. Beautiful face, Priscilla. Her eyes. Faces are very important. They convey almost everything. All, you know, 
like I, like I said in one of my videos, in pinups, if in pinups, face would be the title and the body would be the subtitle. Because a girl looks beautiful or cute or because the hair is properly done, you know, she's taking care of herself. And we're talking about that specific shot that we're looking at. In that shot, she looks that way. Not expecting someone to look like that all the time. But, but in that moment when we look at that person, that is when we remember that person. It gets like a scanner. You sc you scan that face, and it gets frozen in time in your memory. And you remember that person, and you reference that with that person. So that no matter how that person is looking, uh, you have that image in your head that of that moment that you're projecting onto that person, and it helps you love them more. And it's, it starts with the face, the connection you're feeling with that person. With the eyes, the mouth. Look at this face, it's so nice. The expression conveys that. I did a pin of, of Dua uh, and the face was not that good. Let's see if I have it on my profile. This one, the profile picture. The face was not that good, so I got bad reactions from it from some people. You know, like people were call, calling her trash and like usable, disposable, uh, whereas the concept of the painting was tiger stripes. She's like being a tiger, like a, a fuck you up in bed type of like powerful woman. You know, this was exactly the message to the people uh, who commented on uh, the painting like that. But the message was not conveyed perfectly because the face was not nice the body is nice the claws are also nice but if the face would have been nicer it would have been like so much more powerful as a message and the goal with explaining a, a message to people is to explain it in a pleasant way without making you know you don't want to make people feel criticized about it you want to explain it to them in a pleasant way so that they understand. It's not, uh, you know, so uh, a beautiful face pleasantly conveys the message to them so that even uh, a person who had uh, thoughts like that, uh, it converts them and uh, makes them feel pleasant. So they're more open to receiving what you really want to convey. And that's East Lingerie, which is... Uh, this is Photoshop for sure. Yeah, that's... That is very Photoshopped. That... You can tell by the difference of texture in the skin. And, of course, the geometry curve. It would not be possible for someone to have a curve that sharp. That's photoshopped. When you, uh, <laughs> not a fan of this color, to be honest. Like, why? 
it is very saturated for me. But we are here to appreciate and not criticize. I love this, Miss Money. This design, French cut. Um, they mentioned they researched the various eras which had this cut. 50s, 60s. So this one, Miss Money Panties. 50s, 60s. And... Uh, the uh, curated this versions of this design and they created their own which was the best versions they thought I think it's cool it's really cool they make uh, limited production like they sell out as soon as it comes out the, of the factory they are local, I believe. They do ship internationally. This aesthetic, this boxiness in the body, this is so like uh, Loomis or Bridgman. This over here, this highlight makes it boxy. As if this is coming this way and this is coming that way like a box. Nice editing. I love editing. It is. I call these photo art, uh, Instagram posts. It is. It is so um, artistic. You often see anatomy in these edits. Instagram everywhere, Dua Lipa, you see so much anatomy. These editors, they are seriously amazing art. This is also happening over here, boxy. This highlight, box this way, box this way. So you, uh, it's a counterintuitive approach to editing or drawing or painting where uh, when a certain part is supposed to be feminine it's supposed to be round and feminine 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 means round soft curvy soft uh, so the counterintuitive approach would be you would make it boxy what is feminine so boxy over here boxy over here highlight sharp bo blocky highlight over here make this square instead of round look at this curve it is quite square this is counterintuitive that's why it looks interesting it is playing with, uh, uh, you know, counterintuitiveness makes it interesting. It's it works in seduction too that way, or or just relationships too. When someone says something counterintuitive, when we see something counterintuitive in life, we tend to remember it and we tend to find it interesting. So that on YouTube, when everyone the stereotype. Uh, of the people is like everyone says it this way but that influencer says like almost the opposite thing or something completely different and unexpected you think wow this person is so real uh, you know this is cool anatomy Look at that. Deltoid, right? Uh, this highlight over this capula, how, uh, how, how bulky, how massive this trap is. And Dua is a lean girl. 
you would see in the other photos, her traps are not always this massive. Look at how lean she is. Is it possible for a person to have traps that are like this? Uh, this is beautiful editing. It's art. Look at how... So, right? Uh, but we're talking about anatomy. And it makes the person look beautiful. external obliques so Bridgman stuff happens over here too uh, you know this blockiness uh, where some might choose to show like abs and buns one might also choose to show flatness which is the the sheath of the muscle of the stomach it starts from the rib cage and uh, connects to the pelvis over here uh, the whole area Over here, the for a second third rib, of the sternum. These these would not uh, always be in the photo, the but but they make her look nice. This geometric edit. Geometry, geometry. This is a beautiful edit. This is also the sharp edge. I, I love this look. Uh, this is a look from Last Dance. She... She has this... She's wearing a top and... Oh damn. Okay, we lost electricity. Let's see what we have over here. Did this a la prima of Dua last night? It was a pain in the butt to be honest. The brushes were not working like I wanted them to work. I'm trying to find a brush that is good for a la prima. Working on this tailor. In the original ref, she is wearing a t-shirt, shorts, just legs, thin legs, heels. Um, but the way my hand wanted to flow made these lines. Uh, they started emerging. Uh, she is wearing now like a princess top. And it could be a dress that is like a, a gown that has a V this way, that is open this way. Or it could be uh, a dress with a, like a blouse with a neckline. Or it could be a blouse that is this way. Uh, 
and then it could be a gown that is going that like a cut at the hip let me see if I have the reference open That's a reference. So over here, she feels like some kind of awkward thing is happening, but uh, here, um, the subtle changes I've made it makes it seem so that she's brushing her hair off her forehead. Because of the colors in this one, it feels like she's a little awkward, like, what is happening over here? Okay, you're just gonna do that over here, like that. This one is the combined feeling th uh, that I was feeling with it. So that led to the princess gown concept. I love this painting. Mm. Working on this right now. Like a bodysuit that is. Uh, this is from the red era. I'm going to change her hair a little bit. This is just how it was in the reference. The shape of the hair. Uh, I'm making this red era have a Wango Tango feel. So, what we're talking about uh, Caprizio, leggings, two, two layers of leggings. Uh, very fair skin tone, like almost like a marble sculpture. This needs to be rendered. It's going to be rendered, but... That faded pale quality. This is a... a like a color dynamics brush that was... That put in color and then I desaturated that brush with a gray and put a wash of gray over it with the same brush. Oh, hey, the electricity is back. We should have it here. This was a reference for that. She's wearing shorts and uh, in mine, I'm thinking with it. <clears throat> I should resolve the form properly, the edges too. I'm going to soften everything like a classical drawing. These are some paintings I did with a mouse on Stash. Stash is Muro, I think, Muro on DeviantArt. It, uh, it's, a, it's a nice piece, a module of a software. Allows you to draw with a mouse and it smoothens your lines a little bit intelligently. Just doodling, uh, uh, this is like 
a city which feels like recess, which used to come on Nickelodeon. Uh, New York school, busy, busy courtyard, school courtyard. And then there's this crossing of the road from here, which tells you that in a busy life, there is always a path that allows you to come to the other side and stand and survey everything calmly from the other side. There's always a path. It's quality time. It's my favorite. It's my primary love language. The five of the five love languages by Gary Chapman. He's fishing. And it's just it's a calm day, bright sun, twelve o'clock, green grass and something is tugging. This is from, this is a fox, like a dragon. <clears throat> the source of this was Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli. Quality time, clouds, blue skies, sun shining. These are mountains, the Himalayan mountains white snow, snow-clad mountains. These are just dancing. I was listening to a nice song at that time. I think it was Anita. Badminton used to play it in my childhood in the nights in summer vacations playing till late 9, 9 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock used to be special this is like a whale that is singing to itself CL HW K-pop song so this is how I felt from that song and th this is a theme in the video of the song uh, it's about, uh, the lyrics say that, uh, you know, something like, I'm about to bloom, and, you know, uh, it's that fuck you attitude, like Mala Rodriguez, Iggy Azalea, like, I'm just about to bloom, you better hide, or I'm gonna come and fuck you up, you know, like, just going to, about to manifest my maximum potential, and, Choreography and cinematography is really cool. I love that. I want to learn that dance step. I don't know how it would be possible to learn it though. I try to play it in slow motion. CLHW steps, I didn't find anything. I think the effect is conveyed by the looseness of the costume and uh, 
the the angle from which they shoot it. The one where she does it like this. Like a side view and then that one. Well well it would if you just did it with a t shirt on, it wouldn't look the same. You need a jacket for that. <laughs> That's why That's a cool dad. That's anatomy. The simplification of the rib cage, losing of the detail over here, over here in the rib cage. That blowout. This blowout this is edited it it makes her feel like superman like masculine because it's blocky and flat and then it, it wedges over here this is classic bridgman well it is classic figure drawing you could say it is vanderpool as well Vanderpool. I should look. that kind of a thing this is flat bl and blocky and this serratus cuts in this way that's happening on dua this over here this is flat and this serratus is cutting in this way it looks like that on dua serratus cutting in this way this is lit so the lighting is also quite classical. He would do things like this. F feminine breast would made it masculine with blocky, blocky, square, square, square hair. But the outline is very feminine, curvy, curvy, curvy. 
but this is quite blocky square almost like a like a like a piece of stone but the outline is so graceful and feminine so he plays with that and the way you do that is by getting a feeling of it how you feel about it if you feel it is feminine then you can choose to purposely make it masculine sometimes if you feel uh, that the woman is quite masculine uh, and this part is looking quite masculine too you can then choose to make it feminine it's counterintuitiveness same thing happening over here love this drawing page 130 flat blocky thing serratus cutting in and he does this the opposite thing on a woman he will make things blocky so look at this this is this way and then this way suddenly breast blocky dark light dark light like white on black black on white blocky 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 dark 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 square shoulder feminine shoulder square like a like a muscular man but on men he will make things surprisingly feminine look at how feminine uh, this rendering is this is a man and which is supposed to have, have a masculine neck compared to the woman we saw look at how softly this is rendered like these edges are so soft it's not square like this. These are transitioned. And this is a man, and he chose to make him feminine. It's counterintuitiveness. The same thing, woman. But he could have softened these edges, but he chose to make them plainer and blocky. Because it's a woman, it's a feminine part, beautiful breast. But when you make it square, it that's why it looks beautiful. Otherwise, it would be just the conventional brown, brown thing. And look at, look at this, how blocky this is, and look at how soft this neck is, softly rendered. And this is a man, and uh, he's made the neck feminine. Look at this, like a Superman cape. Right, blocky, 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 but on a man, same thing. Look at how softly this transitions. Look at how softly. This this area over here, this is the black portion, this is the white portion. There's something in between over here which softens this serratus ribcage area. The spectralis too. There's something that's softening it because it's a man. If this were a woman, he would have made it like aggressively masculine and blocky. Look at this, this is a woman. Look at this softness, but look at this. Th these edges are so designed, this is so blocky. Because, you know, he's made her masculine. All of men's arms softly rendered, softly rendered. It's making them feminine, but the outline will be masculine. Straight, 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 straight. Curve, graceful curve, because it's a hand, it's a wrist. This is feminine, feminine, but quite masculine, not, not very uh, curvy. Look at these, you can see the angles, straight, straight, straight. Why? Because it's a masculine man, he's making the outline masculine and manly. So the outline he makes to follow the gender, the, the energy of the person. Uh, but the rendering he will do it counterintuitively, uh, intuitively. Feminine, feminine outline. Rendering too, quite feminine. So especially feminine. Feminine outlines. But really blocky, masculine. Really blocky, masculine. Loomis talks about this. Make the cheeks... Uh, m m bonier than they are on women because they look good that way even though they're not supposed to be as bony as men's
I'll catch her later. Might as well show you my room. Got the speakers. All right, catch you later.